It's a beautiful Sunday. It's February 26th, and I decided to go ahead and start on my fence that I'm building out of the azalea branches from when I trimmed back my azaleas. I decided just to go ahead and do it today. I was in that kind of mood, a creative mood, and I wanted to just do a project that I could kind of get really involved in. And I'm having a great time, and I think it's coming out good. This is just the branches that I put on one side of the fence, just on one side. I'm going to be coming back on the other side and doing branches that will kind of fill in some of these gaps that you see in, to where some of them forked and there's a gap in the middle. I'm going to pick out the appropriate branches to put on the other side so that it kind of fills in those gaps. How I'm hooking all this on here, I have horizontal wire going at the top of the three T-posts. I have horizontal wire going, kind of a strong wire, and I wound them around really tight. And then I'm taking the same wire, clipping in smaller pieces, and I'm putting it around where each branch crosses that horizontal wire. I'm trying to do uh, as best I can to strengthen the whole fence. Some of them are hooked together on the wire, like two branches hooked together, some are single. And some of them I even hook together, not on the wire, but like down in the fence, like some of these branches that cross each other. I went ahead and hooked them together just to try to make it as much as I could, like one cohesive um, fence that's really kind of strong. So I think it came out great. I'm loving it. The bottom parts of the branches, I went ahead and just sunk into the trench. Instead of planting the beans right now, I decided to just go ahead and sink all the branches under the ground, and then I covered them with dirt. And I'm going to come back with some more dirt and even add on that to kind of strengthen that, and then I'll plant the beans into that dirt. I decided I just really want a little more dirt at the bottom. Well, here's the finished fence. It took about two and a half hours, I would say, to do this all together, which isn't that bad all in all. As I said, all of these branches came from me trimming my azalea plants. Azaleas are beautiful, but if they don't get trimmed, they can go crazy and get super huge. And these were two super huge azaleas in my front yard, and I didn't want them to be that big anymore. So I cut them back. This might look like I scalped them, and I kind of did, but I'm okay with that. Uh, some new growth will come up and start a little greenery at the bottom, but those branches went so high, they went so high above those azaleas that they basically had started making a canopy up in the sky to where the sun couldn't get under that canopy and there was no leaves under the azalea <laughs> toward the bottom. There was no flowering. There was no growth towards the bottom. It was all these nine foot long branches that just kept the sun out from the bottom. So there, it wasn't doing any good to have a big uh, bush like that. It, only for privacy, but I really didn't want it blocking the view of my house. So those are what I used. And each stem of the branches, each stem is just its own little piece of art to me. I just look at it kind of like a piece of art. They, they hook different directions. They fork different directions. And I just kind of worked with them until I got the fence looking the way I wanted it to look. What do you think? What do y'all think? I think it came out wonderful. And I can just visualize it growing pole beans. Just growing pole beans. I think I'm going to grow um, Aunt Mary's meat beans again this year on my pole beans on this section. Because I'm trying to keep growing them year after year to grow my seed collection. That's just an heirloom one I'm trying to grow. And then I may do tobacco worm beans at the other end. There's three posts, but really two sections. So I'm going to just kind of get in my seeds and pick out the ones I think. But for sure, the Mary's meat and the tobacco worm. I don't have a lot of tobacco worm seeds, so I may just end up doing maybe even a third one at the end. So who knows? This could be a little hodgepodge, but it's going to be gorgeous. So this is Lainey from Hilltop Home Place. I hope you enjoyed this look at my new fence. I'm enjoying looking at it coming out in my door. I can see it right when I come out of my front door. It's going to be beautiful. Thank y'all for joining me and y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.